Hey guys, <clears throat> got an update for you on the buggy. Um, so, as it stands right now, I got the one-way bearing in the mail last night, as well as um, 7,000 7K diff oil. Um, you can see here, it's still kind of messed up looking. The, the reason is that because I had issues with the wiring and stuff, and so I ended up buying an extension, which you can see here, the other end's in here, with, as well as the battery. And so, uh, next time I get a chance, I'm going to mount it up and make it look pretty and stuff. The motor, it runs pretty good. Not really sure on the tuning. If you know how to tune, um, comment on what it should, what kind of smoke should be coming out. Because as it stands right now, idle, no smoke, but the minute you give it some throttle, a good bit of smoke comes out. So, <clears throat> that's how that is. That's how, um, that's how that pretty much is. I'm bidding on on eBay the 2.0 shock towers, which are significantly thicker. So, because this one actually looks kind of bent, if you can see like that, it's a little bent. Um, it runs pretty good. The ser steering servo sucks. It's awful. The throttle servo, it does fine. I don't know what a good throttle servo feels like, so that one, that one's good for me. Um, if you would like to see the old one-way bearing. You can't see it in there, but it's completely cracked. Uh, I guess that's an update on it. Um, I did find a guy. He, I'm, I live in. Um, who, I'm not gonna tell you where I live, but um, you probably know. You can probably find out pretty easy. But needless to say, he lives about three hours away. He just purchased the RC8B2, whatever the new one that just came out, the Associated Buggy, and he's selling the RC8BE Factory Team Edition roller buggy uh tires clear body it was raced not bashed um it's kind of dirty but i can it's just dirt for two hundred dollars i don't know if i should keep keep this or keep get get sell this get the buggy keep this get the buggy or just not get the buggy at all because not just fun but i like electric more it's it's cheaper in the end yeah so um the shocks, um, they need to be reworked because the back, it's there. As you can see, they sit ride pretty stiff, and so it uh, it um, it kicks the rear end up actually a lot, and so it 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 handles funky. These tires are like really really hard, so they it slides around a lot. Um, uh, I've got some new thing. I got to. Let's see, I ordered a Sky, Sky Lipo charger, some, some knickknacks and stuff from Hobby Parts. Every week I get paid from my job. So every week I'll be buying more stuff. Like, um, next week I'm going to buy the power supply for the charger. Um, and the Fly Sky FSGT B2. That, that radio that everybody loves that's $40. You know which one I'm talking about. Um, if you watch videos on YouTube, you've seen Jang review it, uh, other guys run it. It's pretty, it's like the number one, in my opinion, radio for non-race level people. Because most of the racer guys, they like, they like to go and drop loads of money on top name gear. But, um, yeah, this is the buggy. Uh, it, I was not expecting it to have as much pickup as it did because... The guy at the hobby shop was like, the motor doesn't have that much compress compression and it'll need to be rebuilt. So I was expecting it to be like a dog and just crawl around, but it, it was doing pretty good. So, uh, oh, um, I've been out of the loop. If you know of a good servo, maybe 150 ounces plus, that's cheap. Comment below what it is, because I, I would really, I would really appreciate that. Now, one more thing I'd like to point out before I go. If you could see these turnbuckles, they're um, they're not the cleanest thing, but they're cleaner, and that's because my little idea on how to remove rust actually worked. So I'm gonna go through and everything that has rust, like these little thingies, I'm gonna go in there and clean those up, screw heads, all that stuff. I'm just gonna I'm gonna go ahead and redo it. The front brake, okay. I call it the front brake because it, it's the brake for the front half of the truck. 
it's a little stiff, so I'm going to have to rework that too. But everything else is pretty good on it. Um, let me know what you think.